All right, we're gonna we're gonna watch some footage here. This has been out for about a day or two. Everybody's like soaking up the news on the Scorpius. Everybody's very excited about this heavy fighter. I love heavy fighters. I love the I love that class of 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 ship, the heavy fighter ship. It's like heavy fighter GTFO. You know what I'm saying? I mean, like the only other ships that that really make me interested are the industrial ships for trading, and then give me a big ass fucking heavy fighter, and I'm on, I'm down. You know what I mean? For too long, all we've had is the Harby. Uh, people are getting bored of it, so the Scorpius coming in is a is a nice kind of refreshing uh, breath of it, it's just a nice breath of fresh air. I want to check it out. I want to see what it looks like. Let's here check it out here at the expo on Aldis Channel. We'll put the link live, down when we put this to and YouTube. We have the first look at the and I'm going to talk RSI about Scorpius. I'm going to talk about what I do like and what I don't like. Like the two major points, like what I really like and what I really don't like about the Scorpius. Heavy fighter. With an adaptable bi-wing configuration and revolutionary rail-mounted remote turret, the Scorpius offers unprecedented fire coverage, allowing for both defensive and assault-minded applications. And here, quickly, I'm going to spin around. We've got guns on the wingtips, like a frickin' X-wing. And we have guns up top. This looks like it has That's a lot of guns. guns. Yeah, that's, that's eight, isn't it? It's also have, it also has missiles if I'm if I'm correct. Four on the wingtips and then four on top. Yeah, that that's so this is that's juicy. Way more guns than what we currently. Is that it? Is, is is that it? So this is. Yeah, way more guns. Way more guns. We got that. Eat, eat. Now there's another video detailing. Um, I think you're gonna get a lot of DPS out of this. I think I think this is going to be heavy DPS. Now let's let's watch this video here where it gets a little bit more detail. Well, it's that time of the year um, again. By another by Nash Invictus here. Launch week. So I'll put this link down. Leaked ship. This time the RSI Scorpius. First off, we got these four. <laughs> Nash, Nash, I love you, bro. But like, you gotta up, you gotta up the tempo, bro. But it's okay. He's getting, he's get, he's getting, he's getting into specifics right now. Missile tubes on each side. <laughs> Okay, the tubes. Now, I'm personally not a fan of missile tubes or restricting the missiles in any type of way because that means you won't be able to swap them out for things like fuel tank drop pods or rocket pods in the future. Next, I want to show you where the maneuvering thrusters are. I see it's what you're saying. It's kind of hard to see because it's a little bit broken up. But I sort of agree with them that. Right here, 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 and here. Then you yeah, yeah, yeah. Back. Maneuvering thrusters. All right, right, right. Here. All right. All right. Mm -hmm. Here. All right. Yep. Mm -hmm. Here. Okay. And right here. Okay. So okay. There's eight. I'm not a big fan of maneuvering thrusters being on these uh, tips. They're very wings. destructible. A bit like the mm -hmm. Talon. They can be yeah, shot yeah, yeah. off. And Physics comes into play there. Left with a little bit of a handicap. You look like you might have your uh, flares and chat. I mean, if we're simulating true realism and we really want the f flight to be realistic then yeah that that to me is something that uh, would would definitely be something that would be a negative right there and that's that's one of the things that I wanted to talk about uh in terms of like the the negative aspects of Scorpius that you won't you'll see everybody jizzing over this and trust me there's there's room for for the jizz you know what I mean there's plenty of it I mean, I'm sorry I got a little dirty there for everybody but there's 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 more than enough excitement for this to be you know having having a fun time everywhere but there's also some things that, that I'm not hearing from from content creators out there. Uh, <laughs> room for the gist. The, should that be a T-shirt, Jack? I, I feel like maybe we just made our new piece of, of, of merch. <laughs> but there's also, I mean, there, the, the the eight guns here. OK, let, let's just talk. Let's let them talk. Uh, and, and hopefully he kind of like brings us up a little bit. No offense, Nash. Yeah, just constructive criticism. CIG is calling it today right here. And on this what what is that? What is that? Hold on. What, what are those? Hold on. What are, what are you saying these are? Hold on a second. Have your uh, flares and chaff. Or oh, flares and chaff. All right. Today, right here and on this side as well. Now, it's kind of hard to figure out exactly which size guns these are. Maybe size Big twos. twos. Seems to be what everybody's suggesting. Are they twos, fam? Although the ones on this little turret almost look, almost look bigger than the ones. Yeah, yeah. Here. I agree, Astral. So it's kind of hard to tell. It'd be hard to see. It, it, it has a slick fighter. aesthetic, These though. These are all size twos, and the ones on the wings are all size ones. You got your main engines right here. These little square cutouts. Now, if you haven't noticed, the remote turret right here 
as it says in that little uh, image from Invictus, can go back on this rail. Guys, nice three guns. Thank like you, Oz. Javelins. Thank you, dude. It can go on this rail, and looks like it can even go all the way down here. But in this concept image, you can also see another Scorpius with that remote turret firing backwards. Now, I got excited when I saw these wings because I thought maybe they were flaps. They still we got we got be. a two man two man in this. You see how there's actual cutouts on all of them. How a shape like this like would a work hornet set up on a planet. Is that what's going on here? To be uh, determined. Yeah, yeah. Now I know everyone wants to know, and they fold like an X wing. But you can see under here. I would imagine some sort so. of like mechanism. Yeah, it'd be dumb like. if they didn't. It could possibly be used. For it, it will making it going up and down. You can see the uh, everything right here. Right. Almost right. So, like so you know, I really want to talk about the the, the positives and negatives right now because Ramirez brings up a great question. It's something that I thought about too. You know, we talk about the the reality, the realism. How real is the flight going to be? And we all want it to be very real. So we also have to think about atmospheric flight as well. We, we saw maneuvering thrusters on the very back. Um, pinage the the pins on the back come and shooting off the aft of the ship we saw that these might be susceptible if you're losing maneuverability or maneuvering thrusters on the back side of it then then that's not going to be a good thing it makes me worry because i remember when the when the connie came out initially and how destructible it was as sdf tech actually helped it so i'm imagining that the, the shields themselves will be a little bit more boosted to to compensate for the fact that hey you know what these there's some tips on here that are very exposed that's what she said. <laughs> we're getting back to the tips again. But like also another another comment by one of our fam member, we were talking about uh, the, the guns on the wing tips as well. So here's the biggest negative about this ship uh, is the amount of area that it takes up. So like and this is any X wing kind of vibe. This is this is any kind of aesthetic on any design in any spaceship ever made. And in fact, a lot of ships, a lot of real life uh, uh, planes out there that have this X wing kind of look to them. The one negative is like more surface area, like easier to shoot at, like easier to get the hits on. So that's something that is a negative for me. That is something that's always a negative. I love the look. Don't get me wrong. I love the aesthetics of the ship. Um, but like, I will say that when I fly ships like this, the biggest down point to these ships are, is there's much more, much, I'm taking up more area and by taking up more area, it's an easier target to hit, uh, randomly. Like if anybody were shoot at me with the pip, you know, like something, I'm going to probably have a bigger chance having four wings of getting hit one of the wings getting hit. Now, like cash is saying, if you're, if you're Luke, you can outfly that shit, <laughs> but if you don't have the force, you might want to be careful about this. Now, the positive. Now, here's the compensation. Here's the thing about the ship that really makes me think like, you know, maybe the surface area, the amount of area on the ship is not such a bad thing is the amount of guns on here. The DPS, I'm thinking to me on eight, eight, well, they're all size three. If they're all size three, I don't know if the turret's size three and the and the and the wing guns are size two, but if they're all size three and there's eight of them, plus that focus fire, the way that the guns are set up, man, this thing's gonna be a killing machine in terms of DPS. I would say base, like base DPS is already over the Harby. So I'm guessing like 2,000 DPS. I mean, like I would guess somewhere around 2,000 DPS. I, I think that the Harvey somewhere around like 1,800. This is with the setup that comes with it. Obviously, that will increase depending upon how you set up the ship. But um, yeah, I think I think as long as as long as what you're looking at's in front of you, as long as you're coming from behind with this ship and somebody ain't sneaking up behind you, you're cool. So like the I think the complete aft section of the ship is like, hello, I'm completely exposed, oh shit, and the complete front of the ship <clears throat> is like, holy shit, I'm a killing machine, so complete kill on the front, complete death on the back, I mean, that's how the ship kind of like lays itself out for me when I'm looking at it, you got complete killing machine up front, and complete, oh shit, I'm gonna die on back, so you always have to be sure when you're, when you're, when you're attacking with this thing that you're, you're facing things head on, you, you, the second you turn around, 
the second you expose the backside of this thing, you are you are a giant target. So that is something that I would probably tell people if you're if you're considering this ship, just think about those two things. Let's see what else uh, Nash has to say here. Speaking of landing gear, I would have to assume the landing gear would be right here for the front. Then it'd have some in the wings over here and over here. It's just kind of hard to tell on this model. As for component access, it looks like all the ones, at least the ones I can see, are I like all I like the, bottom, uh, the, the amount of work he's thinking into this, send. putting into thinking. CIG about this. has been getting into the habit of putting a lot of components on fighters on the top of the ship where they're gonna get hit the most. Not only that, they keep putting the most vital components. Yeah, on the it top. it should have a so co-pilot seat and effigy. them all on the bottom for their turret. Another potential reason why they might be coming out with this ship is because of the long-awaited feature of being able to change your weapon firing modes much like you can on a turret so they are <laughs> sequential so you can imagine those badgers or whatever those are on the wings firing sequentially a bit like an x-wing and this is rsi so you can see like that rsi design and i'll tell you what like but i guess they thought it would look like rsi stepping like up the game right now i want that disney harassment so they threw that remote turret up there too Overall, it's a cool-looking ship. I tried to find the uh, specs I like for the aesthetics it. I too. components and things like that, but unfortunately, they're not posted yet. This is just a hollow viewership right now. And that is all for today. All right. Thank you, Nash. That was, that was very nice of him to take the time out to give us his speculation on the ship. I, like I said, eight guns. DPS is going to be through the roof. Going to probably beat the Harvey. Uh, I, I would almost say for sure. Like, I'm 90% sure that the DPS coming out of this is going to be more than the Harvey. And though, yeah, like, you, you, you have that RSI look. You have that RSI feel. I think it's a, a great aesthetic. Uh, and like I said, just keep in mind, guys, what I'm saying about the overall effect of, uh, effectiveness in combat. It, up front, killing machine. Anything in view, you're probably popping it quick, you know? Uh, anything... Behind you, better watch out. Better watch out because you are a big ass target. And then we got to think about uh, atmospheric flight. What happens? A wing's blown off. You know, one or two wings are blown off. Is going to be a very difficult ship to be to land. How much realism is going to be into the flight model? That you know they want to put a lot of realism into the flight model. How real will it get? If, if Cloud Imperium goes uh, 110% on the realism for, for atmospheric flight, you got to watch out for that. So that's something. That's something to think about as well. Uh, but for the most part, I would say you're going to see this a lot in space. I know that the picture on, on the RSI site showed like these attacking rovers. Um, I think, you know, this could also be something that would be like a, a, a pretty heavy duty role for attacking ground units. Could be. Depends. Uh, but for the most part, you gotta you gotta think about atmospheric flight too. So, so there we go. Those are my thoughts of the Scorpius price point. I'm not sure. Does anybody know price point on this guy before I end the video here and we get back to the stream? I'm not quite sure where they're where they're selling this thing or if there's speculation as to price point. Um, yeah, I I think that this is <clears throat> as far as the amount of damage in the DPS. I think we're talking much more than the Vanguard. As far as the DPS, yeah, I'd probably say, yeah, I'd, I'd say 300, give or take, right? Yeah, yeah. They're gonna want it. They're gonna want a, a pretty penny. It's been a while. They want to make sure they're they're keeping the revenues up. I would say somewhere around the 300 ish mark. Yeah, yeah. It's a heavy fighter. It's a heavy fighter. All right, guys, let's get back to the show. <laughs> 